It's that time of the year again when the sun starts shining, the beaches get busy, so it's time to escape the south. Previously on Escape the South, equipped with a road bike and 24 hours on the clock, I managed to cover around 300 miles, starting in Bournemouth and finishing in the Lake District. And then it was time to escape the South once more, this time using the gravel bike and off-road trails. To get as far north as possible, I ended up in Birmingham. But today, I seem to have forgotten my bike and will have to escape the South using only what's in my bag and what I can find along the way. Okay, first plan to get out of Bournemouth is find a barrel bike and get really far out of Bournemouth. I can do like seven miles really fast, but I need to find a barrel bike that will let me unlock. That one back there was broken or whatever. It wouldn't let me unlock it, annoying. Right, um, let's go find a barrel bike. Hopefully I won't have to walk too much for the first hour or so. Let's get out of Bournemouth, that's the first step. No working. Oh, my God, <laughs> this bike, this bike sucks. So hopefully, this one here works. Oh, it's an e-bike. Ah, definitely gonna need that up. Probably about there. High as it can go. That's gonna give us a good start for this 24 hour mission of getting as far north as possible only using human powered transport. Uh, and uh, got a headwind, but e bikes, man. The e bill bike is making it easy. Right, let's get through Bournemouth. direct route out of Bournemouth up to around the airport area. I'm gonna take the uh, off-road trail along the uh, river. Hopefully the barrel bike holds up. Let's see what I can handle. Oh, it is so 
and Right, we've come to the end of the first stage of our getting as far north as possible on the barrel bike. We did like nine miles and we're literally like pretty much as far as you can go on the barrel bike until we get out of Bournemouth. Good old e-bike barrel bike. Them seats are incredibly uncomfortable. And if you're six foot six, they're slightly on the small side. But now we go onto the oldest form of transport, the feet. But not before a nice cold drink. 23, just under 23 hours remaining. So just over an hour to do 10 miles, the first 10 miles. But from here, there's no barrel bikes. It's just uh, the good old fashioned hiking, maybe some running. And I do have a little secret weapon in my infantry today, but it's only useful in certain situations. So I keep that as a surprise for later on in the video. But uh, just to keep hiking, just gonna try and go straight as possible to make it as short as possible to get as far north as possible. The funny thing is with this one, with the mountain biking, with the road biking, you definitely get out. As I was saying, with the road biking, with the mountain biking, as far north challenges, you're pretty much guaranteed to actually get to the north of England. With this one, I might not even actually escape the south. But we have escaped busy Bournemouth, so that's one good thing. All right, let's keep hiking straight as possible. Let's see how far we get. Back there, I came through uh, Moors Valley. Currently done, I think 17 miles, nearly 18 miles. Let's have a look. 16.8, so about 17 miles. And we have 21 and a bit hours remaining of this uh, 24 hour challenge. And uh, right now, it's still really hot. So all I'm doing is just trying to keep quite a fast paced walk by the end of this uh, challenge. I'll be limping. So uh, just gotta try and uh, pace myself, not get any injuries. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Done like, what, like three hours and nearly 20 miles. So that's good. We've probably got 15 more miles until we get to an actual built up place which is Salisbury. Um, so we got all these gravel tracks, which are nice to hike on and uh, probably a few little road sections along the way. But yeah, it's really hot, but 70 miles done. Just, uh, it's gonna feel nice to get that 20 mile, to get that first 20 mile out of the way. Nice, all right, let's just keep trying to keep this high tempo march going sort of hiking it around like three and a half four mile an hour give or take that's what i'm trying to just keep keep my pace at really right just keep marching on <laughs>
right. I've done 20 miles and uh, I think it's time to unleash the, uh, the secret weapon. Secret weapon, this is a very small penny board. It's basically the size of my foot, but it should help speed up some of the quiet country lane sections. So that's good. <laughs> so done about 20 miles and have about 20 hours remaining. I haven't used one of these penny boards in years. So hopefully I can still skate. 20 miles done. Let's keep going. sort of a uh, catch-22. It's great when you can use it, but it is just extra weight that you have to carry when you can't. Problem with skateboards, they're no good off-road. 21 miles done, 21 miles done, 19 and a half hours to go. <sighs> I reckon it's about just under 15 miles until we get to Salisbury. That's like the next proper big place. That's actually, which uh, I really can't wait to get to. Currently a place called uh, Older Ho, Older Holt, something like Older Holt, I think it is. Um, yeah, my feet are starting to hurt now. That's probably because I decided to uh, wear Vans because skateboarding, but it's not that great for walking, <laughs> but keep going forward we'll keep uh, pushing through some miles and hopefully get as far north as possible <sighs> nope it don't work I hate these things. Back on the board. Carrying the board again. I'm back on the board again. For how long <laughs> we will see. Oh, not very long it turns out. So just going for a place called Rockbourne, done 26 miles. It's uh, slowing down, the legs are slowing down, the feet are starting to hurt a bit more now. Uh, I've got about 18 hours of this challenge left and done 26 miles. Ugh. I'm gonna stop, have some uh, something to eat. Got a, a, a cheesy bean slice and uh, I probably got like, 10 miles until Salisbury. It's currently quarter to seven. It's got a few hours, a couple of hours, two hours maybe, three hours um, until the sun sets. So probably by the time I'm getting to Salisbury, the sun will probably just be starting to set, I'd imagine. But yeah, just gonna stop, uh, chill out for a little bit and uh, rest because it's gonna be a long night. 
26 miles done and uh, just taking a shower in one of these nice village bus stops. <laughs> The massive puddle that is always there is actually nearly gone, kind of. I wonder if this year it will actually get hot enough to make it go completely. I've never seen that puddle not there. It doesn't matter what time of year, it's just always, always there. Oh, back on the um, hiking trails again now. Oh, done about 28, 29 miles and uh, just got uh, maybe five miles until Salisbury. <sighs> Feeling pretty good. Feeling positive. Still got like 17 hours to go. That's the mental hurdle to uh, get over is knowing that you've got that long left to go. It's not like you're near the finish you're not near the end of the challenge you're just well, still at the start and even though it feels like a long time in already i mean it's been like seven hours in i think uh, uh, sun starting to get a bit lower in the sky a few more hours probably an hour or two until it sets but um, did get to do a few miles on the skateboard back there, so that's good. Let's get to Salisbury and uh, hopefully get there before the shops shut and uh, grab some food for the night shift. Well, that didn't uh, end how I wanted it to. I managed to do about 35 miles just as I was coming down into Salisbury. I was on the skateboard, I was coming down like the steep hill. It was getting a bit fast, I was getting a bit scared. The foot brake was not really doing anything because it was just getting faster and faster. So I decided to jump off. But as I landed on my right like leg, like my knee just sort of jarred and like twisted and now I'm in a, a lot of pain. So uh, I've bailed, I've wimped out and uh, yeah, I basically had about about 15 hours or so left of the challenge to go. But uh, I don't want to risk uh, injuring my knee even longer because I've had knee injuries in the past and they take way too long to uh, get better. So yeah, I've got a bit of a twisted knee now. That was fun. But yeah, 35 miles, 15 hours ago. Bit of a failure, but I'll come back to that challenge in the future and then we'll see how far we can get. But until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure. Peace. Out. Out.